What are they so happy about? It's not like they have captured tons of fish. They should work even more hard. If they capture more fish, they will be more happy. That's not how life works, Sugar. What do you mean, Grandpa? Kids, let me tell you a story. When I was a kid just like you, my grandfather told me this story. A long time ago, an English businessman visited coast of Kerala in India, seeking new ventures. After a few days of observing a fisherman, he finally approached. What have you got there, fisherman? Oh, that is nice. How long did it take you to capture these? Few hours, Sahib. Hmm. You know, you can catch a lot more if you work longer hours. This is enough to support my family, Sahib. This will last us two days. But what would you do with the rest of the time? I spend the rest of the time with my family. Play with my kids. Take a nap. In the evening, we will roam around town. Sit with the friends and family, then dance, share a drink or two, and talk about the day. Sleep late watching stars with my wife, Maya. And thank God for this wonderful life. <laughs> Fisherman, I am an Oxford graduate. Let me help you. This will change your life. You should listen to me and listen sharp. Mm -hmm. You should spend more time fishing. Sell those fish and buy a bigger boat. The more boats you will have, the more fish you can catch. And the more fish you sell, the more boats you can buy. How much time will it take, Sahib? Oh, eight to 10 years if you work hard enough. And then what will happen? Once you have all the boats, you become the king of the sea. <laughs> you can open your own shop and sell fish at your own prices. Then you move to other coastal lines, buy bigger boats and better equipment, and sail far into the ocean and capture the bigger fish. And... How much time will that take, Sahib? It will take probably ten more years, if you're lucky. But, man, that will be the day. And then what will happen? That day, my friend, you will rule the sea. Every fish sold will be yours. You can export the fishes all over the world. You will be a millionaire. You can do anything you want. You can own anything you see. What could I possibly want, Sahib? <laughs> My simple-minded friend, you will be old by then. You can give yourself retirement. You can buy a simple house in the beautiful village, quiet and peaceful. Spend days with your family Play with your kids, go round, explore the countryside, drink and share your stories with friends, enjoy and dance, and when all done, you can come back and sleep in your wife's arms under the stars.
<laughs> but, Sahib, that's how I live right now. The businessman saw his dream at its finest right before his eyes. He glared at the fisherman with wonder, but also envy. He said nothing, just turned around and left. Grandpa, I think I also want what the fisherman had. in the kitchen. I would definitely get it for you if I wasn't so busy with our assignment. <laughs> oh, you finish your assignment. I will get it myself. for him. Oh no! We might scare him away. So, how can we help him? I don't know. All we can do is watch. Very interesting. 
get what he wanted, and that's why he got it. There is no substitute to hard work, friends. I have never been so inspired to work. Guys, let's finish this assignment. Mango trees everywhere. I love countryside. Sugar? I also want to have my chocolate bar. Uh-uh. I am carrying the food basket, so all the food in it is mine. Sugar? I am carrying you. Does it mean all the food is mine? And also you? Heh heh. Heh heh. Excuse me, sir. Why are you crying? <laughs> I am so ashamed of myself. <laughs> Kids, always remember never to be greedy. Because if you're greedy, you will always end up losing something far more valuable. <laughs> but how? I, I don't understand. I will tell you what I did. Maybe it will help you understand. I once was a hard-working farmer. I didn't have much. But I was happy in my farm. I grew fruits and vegetables, and I'd sell them in the market. Over time, I had enough money saved, so I decided to buy a goose. Look, Sheila, I bought a goose with money we have saved. Ha! A silly goose. You should have bought me a necklace instead. It's been a long time since you have given me a present. Sheila, the goose is the present. The goose will lay eggs every day. We will sell them and buy the things we need the most. Why don't you get some food for the bird to eat? I will go to the barn and set up a nest for her.
The next morning, I woke up and went to the barn to check if the goose had laid any eggs. I picked the goose up and searched and found a golden egg. Wow! Like an egg made of real gold? I can't believe it! I couldn't believe my eyes either. Sheila! Sheila! Come here quickly! Look! Uh, this goose is so worthless. Just one egg. But it's a golden egg. What? Let me see. Her eyes started to glow. We both knew we don't have to worry about anything now. Every day, the goose laid one golden egg. And every day, I sold that egg at the market. Soon, Everything started to change. The farm, the barn, the house, everything. I stopped working on the farm. And we spent our days buying things we never needed. We were rich, but somewhere down the line, we became greedy and lazy. Yesterday, while going to bed, Sheila whispered to me. Dear husband, the goose gives one egg every day. And for that, I have to feed and take care of it every day. Why don't we kill the goose and take all the eggs at once? We will be rich in no time. And you don't have to go to the market over and over again. Blinded by greed, I said yes. Later that night, we sneaked into the barn and killed the goose. But to our surprise, we didn't find any golden eggs. <sighs> she was just a normal goose. What have I done?